For example, let's take this case. 3x plus 4y is 7, 4x minus y is 3. One way of doing it is substitute the values. 1 comma minus 1, 3 minus 4 is turning out to minus 3, which is not 7. So this is directly not the case. What about this? 3 ones are 3 plus 4. 4 into 1, 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. And this would be 4 into 1, 4 minus 1, 3. So definitely this is the option. But suppose we need to solve it. We have 3x plus 4y is equal to 7. And 4x minus y is equal to 3. You can call this as equation 1. And this is equation 2. So we can do 2. We want to equate the coefficient of y, so we can multiply this by 4, but not just this, all of them. So you get 16x minus 4y is 12, call that as 3. Now we can add 1 plus 3. When you add 1 and 3, you get 3x plus 16x is 19x, 7 plus 12, 19 so x turns out to be 19 upon 19 which is 1. So we get x is equal to 1. When you get x is equal to 1, substitute this value in this particular equation. You get 4 into 1 minus y is equal to 3. So this becomes 4. y goes to this side. 3 comes to this side. You get 4 minus 3 is equal to y. Therefore 1 is equal to y. Hence we get x as 1 or y as 1. This is how we actually solve it. <clears throat> Hence, we can do it by this method. Here, of course, we have substituted the values and go, and we see there is a lot of difference in the time factor that we have allotted to. Now, let's see what we have. Oh, yes, the answer is 1, 1. Okay. Now, all right. So, now we have a situation. The values of x and y satisfying the equations x by 2 plus y by 3 is equal to 2 and x plus 2y is equal to 8. I remind you the pair of simultaneous equation because to get a unique solution we need to solve them together. So which means ultimately that what is the solution of this pair of simultaneous equations. So let's solve them. You get x by 2 plus y by 3 is equal to 2 and here you have x plus 2y is equal to 8. We can even substitute, we have x by 2. So we can start with this maybe, x since this is division. So we have x by 2 plus y by 3 is 3. Uh, oh no, there is a small mistake, I'm sorry. We need to change this to 2. So our, our the equation is going to be x by 2 plus y by 3 is 2. I'm very sorry once again. So this is the equation. Now, uh, since it is x by 2, maybe we can even try this. So, it cannot be minus 2, minus 3 because then both would be negative. Maybe this. Let's check it up. 2 by 2 is 1. 3 by 3 is 1. 1 plus 1. Yes, it is 2. Here, what do we have? 2 into 2, 2. 3 into 2, 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. So, we get this is the right answer. Once again, suppose you want to solve it. It is going to be, you can do by elimination method over here or if you take LCM you get 6, 6 by 2 is 3 so you get so we get 6 by 2 is 3 and hence we have 3x 6 by 3 is 2 plus 2y is equal to 2 which is the same as 3x plus 2y is 12. Now, if you see in this particular equation, we can write x as 8 minus 2y. This value of x can be substituted over here. So, we get 3 bracket 8 minus 2y plus 2y is 12. This will give you 24 minus 6y plus 2y is 12. This is minus 6y plus 2y minus 4y which goes to the other side and becomes plus 4y. It is 24 minus 12. So we have 4y is equal to 12. So y will be 12 by 4, 3. Hence x would be 8 minus 2 into 3, 8 minus 6, 2. And hence we have 3, 2. So what have we done is we have done again elimination of one variable 
but the process by the process of substitution. In any case, we need to simplify this particular equation. So our solution hence is going to be x is to y is 3. Now very, very important thing which many candidates have a tendency to do is <clears throat> you find the value of x is 2 and y is 3 but when it comes to actually taking it as a pair, we you end up taking it as 3, 2 which is wrong. This is why we call the pair of x and y as an ordered pair where the order in which they appear is very very important. It's a unique pair of 2 comma 3 so it's an ordered pair 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 2 are not one and the same. Okay so uh, we did two ways of doing in this case it would also be smart enough to substitute the values using our judgment and wisdom and check whether it is valid how we said that this would not be possible to do it would have given a negative answer okay so our solution is going to be 2 comma 3 and yes we got it right okay so next what we have is right let's see what the next sum is okay so we have a case wherein you have x by p plus y by q is equal to 2 and x plus y is equal to p plus q are satisfied by the values given by the pair. So it's another way of telling what is the solution of this pair. Now here it definitely would make sense to substitute the values and see. Now again here if you put x s p, x s q and y s p instead of that let's see x s p and y s q the first pair. So if you put x s p we get p by p 1, y s q, q by q also 1 which is equal to 2. So x s p, y is equal to q satisfies this equation. Let us check this. Suppose you put x s p and y s q, yes p plus q is equal to p plus q. Hence, we get this is the solution of this pair of simultaneous equations. So, solution is going to be x is equal to p, y is equal to p. In this case, solving it would become a little complicated. You will have to take the cross multiply and then eliminate from one and substitute, which will be a very long process. So, here direct substitution and finding out the answer will help us move ahead faster. So, the answer option is A, x is P, y is equal to Q, which means that P comma Q is the solution of this particular equation. Right. And yes, we are right. <coughs> okay. Now, here we have an equation. The solution for the pair of equations 1 upon 16x, let's write it down, 1 upon 16x plus 1 upon 15y which is 1 upon 15y is equal to 9 by 20 and here it is 1 upon 20x minus 1 upon 27y is 4 by 45. Now <coughs> here we can do by substitution suppose we substitute over here we end up getting 1 upon 16 into 1 by 4. So we get something like 1 by 16 into 1 by 4 plus 1 by 15 into 1 by 3. In the next step, whether it is equal to 9 by 20, in the next step this will become 4 by 16, which is 1 by 4 plus 3 by 15, which is which is 1 by 5, take LCM you get 20, 20 by 4, 5 plus 4, yes it is 9 by 20. So that means this pair is satisfying this equation. Let us check whether it satisfies this equation 1 by 20x, so 1 by 20 into 1 by 4, so that will turn out to be minus 1 by 27 into 1 by 3 which will be 9. So eventually we are looking at 1 by 5 minus 1 by 9 LCM being 45, 45 by 5 9, 45 by 9 5 and you get 4 by 45. So it's satisfying this too. Hence we get it this way. 
So here it will be easier to do it this way. However, I'll just briefly say how we could possibly solve this. We can let 1 by x be equal to a and 1 by y be equal to b just in case you need to solve it. So it will be 1 by x into 1 by 16 which is the same as a by 16. The idea is to see that it becomes an equation in two variables with the variable in the numerator. Otherwise, it could get a little confusing. Plus 1 by 15y, that is b by 15 is 9 by 20 is one equation. And the other equation would be a by 20 minus b by 27 is 4 by 45. And here you can take the LCM of 16 and 15 accordingly. So this could be 90 and 90 by 16. Sorry, it's only 90. I'm sorry, the LCM of 16 and 15. So, so we could possibly take 16 and 15. So will it 16 and 15? We can take the LCM as maybe 240. So we get 240 by 16, so you get 15a plus 16b is equal to 9 by 20. And this side here the LCM would be 540 and you get 540 by 20, 27a, 540 by 27, so you get 20b is equal to 4 by 45. And the next step if you simplify you get 15a plus 16b is 214 to 20 that is 20 121080 is one equation and here it is going to be 27a minus 20b is going to be 4 by 45 into 540 and once you get this we can solve with the equation but here you see that solving the equation could make it a little long and hence as a result of which you may end up making a it'll take a longer time and it'll always be better to do by substitution in this case okay however in case you get it in some other format in some other situation you need to solve it this is the way we can solve this kind of an equation so let's see and sure the answer is going to be tallying with what we have and yes we do have it okay now the values of x and y satisfying the equation so and 3 upon x plus y plus 2 upon x minus y is equal to 3 and 2 upon x plus y plus 3 upon x minus y is equal to 11 by 3 are given by so and so. so which means solve this particular equation. If you notice this trend, here both the variables are in the denominator is equal to 3. And here you have 2 upon x plus y plus 3 upon x minus y is equal to 11 by 3. Okay. Now, let us see what we get over here. Now, we can let 1 by x plus y as p and 1 upon x minus y as q. So, we end up getting 3a plus 2q is equal to 3 would be our first equation and the other one would be 2a plus 3q this is a plus 3q is equal to 11 by 3. So we have 3a plus 2q is 3 and 2a plus 3q is 11 by 3. Oh we have taken this a. Okay we have taken 1 upon x plus y as p so it won't be a we will take it as p and this would be taken as also p. Now we can solve this equation so this will actually become <coughs> 6p cross multiplying plus 9q is equal to 11 so this is one equation and this is the other. Second so if you do 1 into 2 you get 6p plus 4q is equal to 6 you can call this as 3. Now you subtract the 2, 2 minus 3. When you do 2 minus 3, 6p minus 6p is 0, 9q minus 4q is 5q, and 11 minus 6 is also <coughs> 11 minus 6 is 5, so we get q is equal to 5 upon 5, which is 1. This value of q, if you substitute over here, any one of the equation may be in this, so you get 6p plus 
9 is equal to 11 and you get 6p is equal to 2 and hence p is equal to 2 by 6 which is 1 by 3. So you ultimately get p is 1 by 3 and q is 1. But this is where most candidates go wrong because this is p and q are not what p require. These are values we have assigned. So we need to resubstitute. It means that p which is 1 by p is 1 upon x plus y. So we have taken so 1 upon x plus y is 1 by 3 and q is 1 upon x minus y is 1 which means that x plus y is 3 and x minus y is equal to 1. Now if you take say 6 as this equation and 7 add 6 and 7 you get 2x is 4 x is 2. And substitute this value over here so you get 2 minus y is 1 so 2 minus 1 is equal to y so y is 1. Our answer is going to be x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. Now suppose you want to do by the other way around like let's check it up if you see 3 upon x plus y that is 3 by 3 is 1 2 upon x minus 1 that is 2 upon minus 1 so which will turn out to be 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2 which is not 3, so this is out of question. Both being negative will not work, so our possibility could be this. So if you see 3 upon x plus y, that is 3 upon 2 plus 1, that is 3 by 3, 1. And 2 upon 2 minus 1, that is 2 upon 1. So it is going to be 1 plus 2, which is 3. And here it is 2 upon 3 plus 3 upon 2. So we will end up getting 2 upon 3 plus 3 upon 2. If you take the LCM and go about doing it, you will end up getting 11 upon 3. So this way uh, we get, sorry, 2 upon 3 plus 3 upon 1 you get. And hence if we take LCM and you get it, 2 plus 9 by 3 which is 11 upon 3. So thus when you substitute these two values in both of these, you will get the solution. However, I deliberately took the attempt to convert this in this form so that you can understand the concept of substituting so that if there is an equation in two variables and the variables are in the denominator how substitution could help you solve this kind of thing. So our answer is going to be 2 comma 1 and yes it seems to be tallying with what we have 